Hey, this is Rama from Creations Landscape Designs with Friendly Landscapes. So we are back at it at this project in Mission Viejo. We got delayed for a few days because of the rain and I actually wanted to show you more of the progress for this week's video, which would be this coming Wednesday in January. However, unfortunately due to the rain we got delayed, so this is a week delayed. Anyways, so I'll turn this camera around in a second and show you what exactly they're doing. Today they're laying out bender board and going to finish the irrigation. And it's nice that I get to take you on this journey and show you this project and any other project that is being installed so you can get an idea of how it works with landscapes being installed. That way if you are in process of having your garden designed and redone or are thinking about it, you'll know exactly what to expect. So hold on one second while I turn this camera around. So as you can see here, they're laying out the bender board. I like this specific type of bender board because unlike the black plastic, this looks much more natural. Now this still is made of some sort of plastic, but again, it is far better and it's the least expensive bender board that looks more natural. You can also use metal but that's about like twice the cost. So here it is. They're finishing up laying out all the bender board to divide where the grass is going to be and where the plants are going to be. Now again the reason why we are having some grass on this property is because the homeowners have grandkids and it is anticipated that the grass area will be heavily used by the grandkids who will probably run around and want to play, etc. So this is Alfonso and Santiago, part of Steve Lytle's crew from Lytle Landscape. And I will link Steve's website and information below at the description of this video in case you need a contractor. And they're just doing what they got to do. Going to get as much as they can done today in this muddy, still wet soil. Whoa, careful! <laughs> okay, so we have plans. This is Steve Lytle from Hello. Lytle Landscape. Hi. How are you? I'm wonderful. I'm excited we're planting today. Me too. So then we have these plants along these five gallons. There's a few more of these five gallons. And then we also have these ones. Yay! And then the avocado was already planted if you can see in the distance and I'll show it to you better close up. But yay! So I'm going to place all the plants and then they're going to install it. Uh, Alright, so all the plants have been placed. And then this is a little decomposed granite, flagstone area that leads to the spigot where you can see the hose. And then there, I'm going to try to zoom in, is the avocado that was planted or transplanted from the pot to the ground. And it's a perfect spot for it. Some of the plants that you see that it's already in the ground are existing that we are keeping, like this hibiscus, because the homeowner really likes the hibiscus. And then this vine, jasmine vine, we're also keeping. And then this orange tree is going to stay in the pot. It'll just be decorative. We're going to add some decomposed granite underneath the citrus. And the reason why we're not planting anything underneath the citrus is purely because you want to be able to get underneath it to pick the fruit. And then we've got the Cyanothus concha here that'll get about six by six so it'll fill up this area rather beautifully. And then some smaller plants. And then in this area we kept everything existing. And then this is the compost mulch that the contractor is adding. 
And then tomorrow we're going to lay the sod for the grass areas. Alright, so I thought I'd show you they're now digging the holes to install the plants and whatnot. This is a pile of roots that they dug up. And if you're wondering, most of these roots, or at least a good portion of them, are from that uh, pine tree on the slope there. So they finished installing the sod. And they're just going to do some minor cleanup. So they're now adjusting the sprinklers as it's shooting out a little more water than necessary. Hey, this is Rama. So I thought I'd show you the completion of this garden. So we left all the patio and existing hardscape the same because it wasn't broken and there wasn't enough budget to redo it anyhow. So in this area, we installed some grass. They are grandkids that are going to actively use the grass. Around it, we put some drought tolerant plants, a little flagstone path with soft set and DG, and with DG used as grout to reach the spigot. This here is, is the bird grass back there, and then this newly here is a bird seed feeder holder that the homeowner recently purchased. And then we put in more grout tolerant plants. We kept some of the existing plants that the homeowners really liked. And then we kind of, with what the homeowners had, tried to stage in this area somewhat. We kept this orange tree in a pot. Back there, as I showed you earlier, we planted the avocado. We put some of the potted plants underneath the lemon tree for now, just to kind of add some interest. And they're movable, so you can easily get back here. Here we put in more drought tolerant plants, get more grass. Now this is a really cool feature that the homeowners got as a Christmas present. Apparently it lights up at night and swirls in the wind, which is really cool. And then we also installed a new irrigation system to make it more energy efficient. And then again, more drought tolerant plants here. And that's pretty much it. So if you liked this video, and you want more content about landscapes and how to properly install and design landscapes, hit the subscribe button. Feel free to like the video. And if you've redone your landscape, whether you did it yourself or hired a professional, please comment below and let me know about your experience. I'd be interested to see what you did and what you experienced. Thank you.